But first of all, I'd like to introduce Leo Kearns, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland, and he's going to extend a warm welcome to everybody this evening. Um, but just before he takes the podium, I'd like to extend um, our warm appreciation to the RCPI for hosting us this evening. It's a really um, wonderful building and a wonderful uh, opportunity for us all to be gathered here this evening uh, for this evening's lecture. And um, much appreciation to them for hosting us this evening. Leo, would you like to come up? And then I'll continue later. Thanks. Thanks very much, Nicola. So on behalf of uh, RCPI, I'd like to welcome you all very warmly here uh, this evening to the college. We're very pleased and honoured to be hosting this important annual event. I think this is the 11th year, Nicola, is that correct? Which is fantastic. Uh, and I suppose um, uh, after 11 years, we would say the, the, the journey is certainly not yet over. In fact, in many ways, uh, maybe we're just entering different phases of the journey as we go along. The vision of this college is to lead excellence and quality in medical practice. And we do that through world-class postgraduate specialist training, including in infectious diseases, uh, education and healthcare improvements, both in Ireland and internationally. We also advocate um, very strongly on important public health issues and national health issues. So some of you may be familiar with um, the work that we've been doing uh, in relation to tobacco, um, obesity, uh, and most over the last couple of years in relation to alcohol, which um, is, are very significant and serious issues for uh, the health of the nation. Sexual health is also one of the issues um, that we've played a fairly significant role. In 2010, we established the RCPI Policy Group on Sexual Health. It was a multidisciplinary group advocating for the development and implementation of a national sexual health strategy. And we published back in 2012 um, a policy paper, Better Sexual Health for Ireland. And in that year also we hosted uh, the Sexual Health Awareness Week here in the college, which was incredibly successful. In fact, probably the, the, the part of that week that I enjoyed the most was um, the, the exercise that transition year students uh, uh, participated in across the country around the age of consent. So we mm. wrote to all of the uh, schools in Ireland and a huge number of people responded and essays written by uh, transition year students <coughs> about the age of consent. And in this hall, um, the eight finalists were uh, made their presentation in front of their colleagues and a very tough group of judges. And um, it, was an, it was extraordinary to hear at such a young age the kind of talent and um, an awareness that they had. And in fact, next Monday in this hall, we're having the second of those uh, transition year um, programs, and that's uh, going to be around the issue of consent in relation to, to sexual, sexual behaviour. So the college over many years, we've recognised that HIV is a very important uh, health issue in Ireland, and there's still very, very major challenges uh, that it continues to present globally. And in fact, just chatting uh, with Sean and Robbie there earlier, you know, there, there's perhaps this sense that uh, at a public level that uh, in, in Ireland that HIV has been resolved and we all know that that, 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 that is not the case and that there's still an incredible journey to be, to be followed. So uh, in line with our vision, um, we're playing an increasing role in terms of uh, international health. Health issues, as we know, transcend national boundaries. And the international perspective is becoming ever more vital to the work that we do. So under the Equals Initiative, and um, I'd just like to acknowledge da Dr. David Weekly here, who's been, um, and Frank Murray, our president, who have been really instrumental in getting this off the ground, is a partnership with the HSC to donate medical equipment and support postgraduate medical training and capacity building in Zambia. Uh, and we're also supporting the development of a training program for doctors in public health medicine in Mozambique. And of course that's driven really by our, our belief that we have a duty and obligation and responsibility to try and Im improve capacity within these countries so that they, they themselves can deal with the, th the issues that they have. These are two of the countries in Africa most affected by HIV, as you know. 
and hopefully our initiatives will, will lead to better care and services for people with HIV in those countries. So we're therefore very pleased to be associated with this event here today. I'd like to welcome Sean Mellors and Robbie Lawler, um, two outstanding individuals, passionate advocates and activists for tackling the challenge of HIV. So we're really pleased to have you here tonight. And also I'd like to thank Nicola, uh, Nicola Brennan and her colleagues from Irish Aid. Uh, I think Irish Aid is one of the real success stories of Ireland over the last number of years. Um, and the leadership that they provide but there's always, I think, within Ireland, we've had this very strong uh, desire to help, and Irish Aid has provided such a strong framework and leadership to do that. I'd also like to acknowledge Father Michael Kelly, in whose name we're having this event. He's a truly exceptional person, uh, really interested to read through some of his, his previous speeches, tireless advocate on HIV issues over the years. And while he can't be here with us in person today, you will get to see him by video. So on behalf of all of you, I'd like to wish him very well. I'm also particularly happy to welcome His Excellency, Mr. Paymentin van Otzi, uh, the Ambassador of Lesotho, here tonight. And finally, just to welcome you all, and hopefully you'll enjoy uh, the rest of this event in this uh, lovely building. Thank you very much.